Well, hello, everyone. <laughs> well, my name is Sheila Umberger, and I'm the director of the Roanoke Public Libraries. And it's absolutely so wonderful to see all of you here tonight. We are so delighted to host the National Book Award winning poet Arthur Z and Guggenheim Fellow Brian Tier for tonight's con conversation on poetry and the environment. So the Roanoke Public Libraries are also thrilled to work with the National Book Foundation, the Roanoke Public Library Foundation, the Grandin Theater, Virginia Center for the Book, and the Roanoke Arts Commission to make tonight's conversation possible. And we hope you enjoy the popcorn with the poetry too. <laughs> I am very excited to be with you all this evening. So this is my inaugural poem, Perennials, and you've probably already heard it before a bunch of times at different events around Roanoke. Um, this poem is basically an ode to Roanoke, and it's asking all of us to come together as a community to take care of the city and also, most importantly, take care of each other. Perennials. Let us tend to this city like a garden Listen to our roots and honor those who planted the seeds. Shielded from the harsh winds of divide, plant the milkweed next to the bearded iris. Our differences will only make us stronger. Let us pollinate this city with love. Cover it with grass clippings and leaves. Make it livable for the eastern swallowtails and black bumblebees. This is all of our homes. Arthur Z has published 11 books of poetry. That's 11 books of poetry, including the Glass Constellation, New and Collected Poems, and Sightlines, which won the 2019 National Book Award for Poetry. His new collection, He's Not Done, his 12th collection, The Silk Dragon 2, Translations of Chinese Poetry, is forthcoming. Z is the recipient of many honors, including a 2022 Ruth Lilly Poetry Prize, a 2021 Shelley Memorial Award, and the Jackson Poetry Prize. He is Professor Emeritus at the Institute of American Indian Arts and lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Tonight is really a celebration of the work and career of Arthur Z, which is singular and unlike any other. Um, in the United States, and I'm really excited to share his work with the community of Rona. I'm going to share three poems from the Glass Constellation, and the first poem is called First Snow. A rabbit has stopped on the gravel driveway, imbibing the silence you stare at spruce needles. There's no sound of a leaf blower, no sign of a black bear. A few weeks ago, a buck scraped his rack against an aspen trunk. A carpenter scribed a plank along a curved stone wall. You only spot the rabbit's ears and tail. When it moves, you locate it against speckled gravel. But when it stops, it blends in again. The world of being is like this gravel. You think you own a car, a house, this blue zigzagged shirt, but you just borrow these things. Yesterday, you constructed an aqueduct of dreams and stood at Gibraltar, but you possess nothing. Snow melts into a pool of clear water, and in this stillness, starlight behind daylight, wherever you gaze. I think the outreach the National Book Foundation is doing is so important because poetry speaks to all people in all parts of this country, in all walks of life. Poetry is often seen as something difficult that has to be studied, that maybe is intimidating, and one often thinks of it in the college or university setting. So it's so important for poetry to be in the community, 